Well, I have to admit, one of my favorite students asked me to demonstrate uh, this independent project and what needs to be done to finish up this uh, activity. Well, I've already downloaded the, the file and um, it was saved with my name and I downloaded it from the SimNet uh, link. But the first thing that it tells me to do now is to um, go into the tables and create a range name okay from that selection so I need to go in and find the selection is A6 through B10 so uh, I'm coming over here in A6 through B10 and I want to go into my formula section and create um, names define names from the left left using the left column names so if I click here that defines the names for me and to double check them what I would do is I come back and I go to candy sales and I find that see it goes to each one of the items now the next named range that it tells me to use is the um, let's see it's select B1 through B2 and name it H rates so I'm going to come here at B1 B2 and name that range H rates. So it's H and it's underscore rates. So I've got that second named range and we're in good shape. Now I'm ready to start creating some of these formulas. So I need to go over to the um, now uh, in the commissions worksheet and select F5 so I'm, I'm going to do that now come on back over to commissions here and select H5 and I'm using the H lookup function now I can find lookup functions using the function library here but I, I also know that this particular function I've used recently so I can go into insert function and I'll find H lookup on the list and what exactly am I doing in this particular activity I'm looking for the um, whatever whatever is in E5 and I'm going to that table array of H rates so let's see if H rates is in here still um, I uh, don't see H rates in my in, in that list so because I'm in here what I'll have to do is come back to my table and what will happen is if if in my named areas I may have been able to insert it let, let me double check that one uh, just one second that's where I could have done it is up here is before I went ahead and highlighted I could have done it from use in formula and then you just choose H rates and that just show that I didn't have to come over here and select it so which column am I using or which row am I using I'm using row 2 and that gives me the information I need here so this is a percentage so I want to come over and format it for percentage and I believe it's going out two decimal places if I'm correct um yes I believe so okay so now I'm um, that that's step five it, it tells me to put it out two decimal places so now I'm basically ready to go ahead and and copy this down and then um, and I did that with the autofill now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and build my formula on this so the formula here is the uh, um, is going to be the the commission so first I start always with my equal sign so I hit equal click on the commission then I'm going to add and I'm adding the commission again times the bonus so that'll give me my percentage for the bonus and they add them together so there we go 
and then I just take and pull that autofill option and I've got the correct uh, earnings on all of those. Now this next one is called a sum if. So, um, and that is um, your item number eight on your list here. It says create a, a, and copy a sum if function in E18 uh, with these cells as the range for the argument. So what happens is I come to E18 and I come in and I do my sum if. Well, a sum if, it, again, is not a functional argument that's going to be offered over here. I can also get this. Now, remember, I went to use a, a bunch of different functions, but I, I can come over here, I can go to my formulas, or I can just go to more functions. Because in more functions, it's going to give me the same menu that I got when I clicked on my little FX right here. But sum if was used recently, so I can go to sum if. And let's look at this menu. What am I summing? I'm, I, I'm, I'm coming in and I'm saying, okay, I want to take this range right here, and that's going to stay constant. So I'm going to put it as an F4 function key, which would, would make it an absolute value. And then, um, so then I'm going to say, get set the order of operations to calculate the total earnings. So, so the criteria here is in, I believe, let's see, G5, the total earnings. And the range is going to be, um, let's see, wait, is that? D5 through D14. Wait, where am I? Ah, made a mistake. This is not the range because that's the E column and that's the money. I'm looking for, okay, I, I'm actually looking for the, this information. Because I'm summing if, like it's Cameron Park or whatever, yeah, and, and then I would go, well, for heaven's sakes, I don't know what I was thinking here. The, this one, the criteria, is going to be Cameron Park. I mean, that's the, that's the one that's the criteria. And the sum range is the total earnings. So it's there. So what I, basically we're, we're saying is we're saying, okay, Take anything that has a word that matches this word, because that's the criteria, and and total it. That's the sum if. I'm so, so I'm taking that, so that makes more sense now. So I click on OK, and I can make that, I believe it was supposed to be currency, and then I can just pull it down and I've got that particular formula. Now, the total on this would be just the sum in general. So that would be the sum auto sum. And that's just going to be all these numbers above. And then you hit Enter. So we've got some, some really nice, complicated uh, um, activities in this one and and then you're then you're coming in and you're doing some other functions I'm gonna stop this here so this is uh, a, a, a tape that only covers the the few things that we did which we did the uh, named ranges we did the H lookup we did a, uh, a sum if and we did an auto sum so you've got a lot of really cool features right there the next the next portion of this is your VLOOKUP and some of the other sections. So I'm going to stop this right here and you can watch this video and we'll go on from there.